Okay. Good evening. Thank you all for coming. Um, family and friends, residents, department members, and trustees. Uh, my name is Brett Reinbolt. I'm the fire chief here at Springfield. This evening we welcome Chris Palmieri to the Springfield Township Fire Department. This is a great day for Chris and for the department. Chris brings a wealth of experience to our team. He has served as a full-time firefighter with the Hartville Fire Department and the Lakeville fire, Lakemore Fire Department for 15 years. He's an instructor for Stark State for 10 years. His expertise as a firefighter, paramedic, instructor, and fire investigator and inspector is a valuable addition to our department. We're thrilled to have him on board. To Chris's family, his daughter Madeline and her husband Kyle, who could not be here, his daughter Mallory, and his girlfriend Erin, this is also about you. I am fortunate to have an incredible support from my family, especially my wife Mindy. Good days and bad days, holidays and weekends, birthdays and family events, these members at all times be on shift and away from home. We want to thank you in advance for your supporting them and providing and, and protecting the community. This incredible and supportive community, which includes trustees and department members, is a backbone of our department. We are blessed with outstanding men and women who protect us with unmatched professionalism and dedication. We know that you, Chris, will strive to provide the same service during your career, and we're here to support you. Chief Edward Croker wrote, when a badge is pinned on a fireman, his greatest act of bravery is accomplished. What he does after that is all in the line of work. So if you want to come up, and uh, I'll be happy to show you in. It's, raise your right hand. I state your name, you solemnly swear. I, Chris Palmieri, solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. The duties of fire medic full time. Of duties fire medic full time. For Springfield Township. For Springfield Township. Summit County of Ohio. Summit County of Ohio. During my continuous of employment. During my continuous employment.
All right. I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is a regular meeting of the Springfield Township Board of Trustees. We start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you'd please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mrs. Price, would you call the roll, please? Roll call, Mr. DeLauro. Present. Mrs. Chapman. Here. Mr. Cottle. Here. All right. There will be time for public input at the end of the meeting, but is there anyone here to speak on one of the agenda items? Yes. Okay. Uh, the semi is gone. I sold it yesterday to uh, Akron Medina Truck Parts. Uh, we're still trying to uh, get the funds together for the other part of it, the combined properties and everything else. Uh, we're into a little bit of a hiccup. Our car caught fire on the 30th, so I even had to walk here. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, we're kind of yeah, going through it still. Okay. But, uh, yeah, definitely the semi is gone. I don't have the bill of sale, but I actually, well, I got the money in my pocket. But <laughs> okay. Have you happened to drive by? I mean, probably not since today, no, right? Yeah, today, so that's okay. good. That's good news. Okay, that's good. Um, so I know you said you're working on combining the lots and then the shed. So do, can we give him a little more time than you yeah. think since he is working on that? Okay. Yeah. Um, say for next, when is October the first? In contact. With that. Yeah, I mean, I guess is what we can do to this point since you are working on it. If you want to just contact the zoning administrator deb keep in and, contact uh, with her just keep in contact with her we don't need you to come down here again but let's okay. just make sure you're making improvements there and then we can yeah we're still trying to do clean up some stuff around and uh, things like that um but the um yeah we're just uh, like i said financially right now we're kind of the money i even got from the proceeds from that sale i got to catch up on bills and things okay. i haven't even been able to look for work because i've been trying to run around and get everything else done for zoning and whatever else kind of fire got to stomp out okay but uh, hopefully that uh, frees me up now. At least I can try to do that. Okay. But yeah, um, but yeah that's all I got. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, Thank Deb? you. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I gave you my card last time. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So if you want to email me, I can send you the instructions on how to do that lot combination. So when you're ready to do it, you have that. Sure. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I just got to get the, my property taxes up and current first. So, but, uh, right now, I got to keep my lights on. Thank you for okay. all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and we have some administrative motions. I move to dispense with reading the minutes and approve the minutes to date. Second. Both of us at the same time. Okay. You can pick one. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman. Yes. Mr. DeLauro. Yes. Mr. Cottle. Yes. I move to approve payment of bills and payroll as prepared by the fiscal officer, subject to audit. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Connell? Yes. I move to approve the supplemental appropriations for 2024, also known as Exhibit A, as prepared by the fiscal officer and submitted to the Summit County Fiscal Office. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. And I move to approve the reallocation of appropriation of funds per the attached Exhibit B for proper documentation of expenditures. Second. Roll call. Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move to approve the attached resolution entering into an agreement of cooperation between the County of Summit and Springfield Township for job creation, retention, and tax revenue sharing. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move to approve the attached resolution for legal services rendered by Harps Becker LLC in the amount of $2,192.36. Second that. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. 
I move to approve the quote from ACY Communications in the amount of $4,167. This to be paid from fund line 1,100, 110, 430, 0931. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move to approve the attached resolution for lawn maintenance services rendered by wide open property maintenance in the amount of $3,191. I'll second that. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cottle, you have a motion for the zoning department? Yeah, the zoning. I, I move Nunk Pro Tunk. Approving the payment to Bud's construction at the amount of $16,300 and paid from 2181-130-500-1007 for nuisance abatement cleanup at 1840 Orchard Lane. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. Want to say something? No? Okay. All right. And Mrs. Chapman for the police department? I move to approve the payment to Summit County Physical Officer in the amount of $13,360 for radio maintenance and operations 7124 through 123124. $6,680 paid from line 2000. 081-210-360 and $6,680 paid from line 2281-230-360-1017. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. Mr. Cottle, some additional motions for the fire and zoning departments? Yeah, for fire. I, I move to accept the BWCFEEG grant in the amount of $14,980 for the purchase of firefighter hoods and gloves. The BWC portion is $12,483.33, and the fire department portion is $2,496.67. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. And I move to approve the purchase from MES, its Municipal Emergency Services, for firefighter gloves and hoods in the amount of $14,980 and $7,490 paid from fund line 2191-230-323 and $7,490 paid from fund line 2281-230-430. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. All right, for zoning now. <clears throat> I move to certify the total cost of $16,740 for the abatement of 1840 Orchard Lane and to instruct the fiscal officer to forward to the Summit County Auditor the report of the township action regarding abatement for the total cost to be placed upon the tax duplicate as a lien upon the land. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. And uh, I also have one, uh, a follow-up from September 12, 2024 meeting, the 923 Abington, parcel number 51-04327, parking of a commercial vehicle at 923 Abington. Is there anybody out there for that one? No one here? All right, well, there's no motion for that. It's just she wants to come to us, so I guess go ahead and. She left a message, right? Did she? Have you she, she left a message, yeah. She left a message uh, the other day saying that the place they were going to take the dump truck fell through, so. And then we haven't been able to get through to her since. Okay. Call her back. All right, so we'll talk to her and see what her plans are on getting that moved. Then, so. 
Okay, thank you. Mrs. Chapman, for the police department. I move to accept Ohio Attorney General's Office Ohio Law Enforcement Body Armor Program Grant Award in the amount of $6,176.28. Grant funds to reimburse 75% of total invoice for officer body armor. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move to approve payment to Red Diamond Uniform Policy Supply in the amount of $8,235.04 for the purchase of officer vests to be paid from fund line 2905-210-430. Grant funds to reimburse $6,176.28 of the total cost. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move non pro tonque approving the estimate from Richard's transmission in the amount of $5,000 and paid from fund line 2081-210-323-0904. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move none pro tonque to accept the resignation email from Jennifer Deaton, effective September 26, 2024. Second. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I move to approve the purchase of a, a 2024 Dodge Durango from Fed Martin Superstore in the amount of $44,844 and to be paid from Line 2081 $42,000 to be reimbursed from the Summit County Sheriff's Office. Second that. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. Okay. Um, next motion is to go into executive session. Is there anyone here that would like to address the board before we move? For executive session you want me to do oh, oh yeah. no one no. um mrs bro you you have an announcement in light of some recent questions in regards to the property at on Cant road there known as melanie lake so in order to address questions regarding melanie lake i researched as much as i could about the property and talked to people who had some knowledge of it and also included our legal counsel. So I decided, and as well as some, several other people, thought it best to come up with some type of format to provide this information in. So when people do have questions, um, it's available. And I was going to read it for the record, for the record tonight. As there have been some questions and concerns regarding Melanie Lake Park recently, I decided to provide residents with information regarding this business in reference to permissible zoning uses at the park and the conditions that must be followed. Lake Kim Tam, Melanie Lake has existed since 1951. On July 14, 1980, the park was classified as a non-conforming use business, which encompassed various activities, including swimming, swimming tennis, picnicking, etc. On December 5, 2018, the Board of Zoning Appeals approved the expansion of the non-conforming use to include a broader range of activities and events, to include family-friendly gatherings, church services, baptisms, cornhole tournaments, dance, dancing contests, weddings, reunions, car shows, moving, movie showings, professional wrestling, Halloween haunted house, fun houses, hay rides, ice skating, performing arts events such as musicians and concerts, theater performances, plays, community events, charitable events, craft shows, camping, miniature golf, and Christmas themed wonderland. The Board of Zoning Appeals did require that noise levels did not exceed County Ordinance 509.08. Summit County Ordinance 509.08 requires noise levels not to exceed 65 decibels during the daytime and 55 decibels at nighttime. However, the ordinance excludes these noise ordinances when lawfully scheduled sporting events, parades, fireworks, festivals, and concerts are taking place on the property. The business must adhere to noise, or noise regulations at all times other than when lawfully scheduled events are occurring. A lawfully scheduled event is defined as an event that is planned to happen on a particular date and time and that complies with local ordinances and regulations. 
The business owner was, has erected sound meters on the property, not as a requirement of zoning, but voluntarily to try to monitor noise level, levels for surrounding property owners. Melanie Lake Park is permitted camping on the property, consisting of both tent camping and trailer camping. The owner has been advised that the two cabins currently on the property must be movable like a camping trailer if he is going to use them for camping, and he is working on getting that accomplished. While we understand that some residents may be concerned about cannabis events, recreational cannabis use has been legalized in Ohio, and therefore events related to cannabis are permitted on the property as long as state laws and regulations are being adhered to. We hope that the information provided gives a clearer understanding of the uses and regulations for Melanie Lake Park. The Township Trustees and the Zoning Administrator will continue to monitor this business and all other businesses in the Township for adherence to Township policies, procedures, and zoning regulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mrs. Gro. Uh, Mr. Chapman, do you have an announcement? I do. Uh, we have a, re a resignation. Well, that's. Oh, what's that? Oh, the the resignation. resignation. Oh, okay, Sorry. should I? Uh... No, I'm, I'll read the resignation. You can do the other. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. We have a resignation from the cable board. Uh, dear Frank and Springfield Township Trustees, I am writing to formally resign from my seat on the Springfield Cable Board effective immediately. This decision comes after much consideration and it is due to my need to devote more time to my family. I am no longer able to fulfill the responsibilities required by this role and believe it is in the best interest of the board and the community for me to step down at this time. I want to express my gratitude for the opportunity to serve on the Springfield Cable Board. It has been a privilege to contribute to our community and work alongside with such dedicated individuals. I am confident that the board will continue to achieve great things under your guidance. Thank you for your understanding and support. Sincerely, Daniel Mitchell. So in light of that, I would like to nominate Carolyn Moston to take his place on the cable board. I would second that. Is that a motion? Sure. Okay, who made it? Me. Oh, Kelly? Okay. This is Chapman. Second? Jo Joe. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. Okay, Jeremy. Yes. All right, I have something to read here about the Spectrum Community <laughs> Channel 1023. The Springfield and Lakeport Community Channel 1023 is proud to serve our communities by providing access to local government meetings and programming and information of community events. We are currently running special programs. Tune in to Spectrum Channel 1023 for to view events, information, upcoming events, and events. The, to view the current program schedule, go to the channel's Facebook page or go online to springfieldtownship.us. Community members can access some current and past programming on demand by our YouTube channel. Find it by searching Springfield Lakemore Community Channel. More community information is available from us on Facebook, Springfield Lakemore Channel 1023, Instagram, Springfield Lakemore Channel 1023, X is formerly Twitter, at Springfield Lakemore Channel 1023, at Springfield LAK1. In our blog, Springfield Lakemore Channel 1023 News and Views. Please let us know of any event or activity in the Lakemore and Springfield communities that you would like to see on the community channel by contacting your local government officials. <clears throat> Please let us know how we can best serve you. View programming on Spectrum Channel 1023. Thank you to the Springfield Trustees the help and support in giving these announcements and promoting the community channel. Thank you from Frank, Jim, Douglas, and Carolyn. And uh, yeah, there's some events coming up. There's a haunted shrop on October 26, between one and three. That was a, yeah. All right, great. Nothing further? No, okay. 
Well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. And for those of you watching at home, thanks for tuning in. I know these meetings are exciting. Um, we are going to uh, go into executive session for the purpose of discussing the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, compensation of a public employee, or other terms and conditions of their employment. The session will include the Board of Trustees, its administrative assistant, and uh, other department heads as needed, as called upon. Um, and I guess before that, one other quick announcement. Next week, we will not have a meeting, so um, we will be out serving the community. Well, no, but I mean, we won't even have a workshop. We'll be out feeding. We're going to feed the football team, so we'll be out there in the community so uh if you want to stop out and see us go ahead we won't have enough food for you but you can stop out and see us ask any questions so what are we feeding i think uh mm -hmm. pasta and chicken and salad and right. bread what and the good old the pre -game meal, all right? yeah good yeah so all right it's the team feed i guess someone has to second my motion second uh, well, is this to go to executive yes, session? Yes, there probably will not be a motion afterwards. Roll call, Mrs. Chapman? Yes. Mr. DeLauro? Yes. Mr. Cottle? Yes. I think there won't, right? Or will there be? No, there won't be. Yeah, I was like, no, there will be. Daddy won't need to stick around. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, you you can ask questions. Yes. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to her anyway. I gotta put that right on the. Okay, that's fine.